Hello everyone, this is Juan from CanHub. Welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to be talking about the muscles of the upper arm and the shoulder blade. Like you see here on this image, we have the humerus here, which is the main bony framework of the upper arm. And on your right, uh, left side, sorry, you have here the triangular shaped bone known as the scapula or also known as a shoulder blade. Now, we are going to be discussing the different muscles that you can find within the humerus and also attach somehow to the scapula. Now, as you know, you may split muscles into several groups based on different criteria like innervation, functions, or even embryology. But on this tutorial specifically, we will be looking at these muscles or the muscles that have their attachment points or lay on or their bellies are laying on these two bones, the humerus and the scapula. Now let's look at the first topic here on our tutorial, the muscles of the upper arm, which I can tell you that can be also split into two groups. The first one, the ventral group, which includes the biceps brachii and also the brachialis muscle. Also, you can find another group known as the dorsal group, which includes the anconius and also the triceps brachii. Now let's start with the very first group here, the ventral group, and with the first muscle of this list, which you see here highlighted in green, this is known as the biceps brachii. Now the bicep brachii has, like the name indicates, is divided into two heads. Now the short head, as you can see here, and the long head of the biceps brachii. Now, as you see here on these images where we highlighted the heads in green as well, you notice that the long head is originating right here from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. And on the short head, you see that the origin point is right here on the coracoid process of the scapula. Now, these two heads will merge then to insert right here on the radial tuberosity of the radius uh, and also as you can see this portion right here this is on the antebrachial fascia now let's move on to the second one on our list this muscle here that you see highlighted on both of these images in green now on the left side on this image it's found on its relaxed position while on the right side is where you see it contracted now can you guess what this muscle is well, it is indeed the brachialis muscle. Now, the brachialis originates right here on this point that you can see here from the distal half of the anterior portion of the humerus and also the medial and lateral intermuscular septum. Now, it goes all the way to insert right at this point here on the ulnar tuberosity. Now, taking a second look here on the list of the muscles of the upper arm to say that we just concluded the ventral group and going to move on to the dorsal group. To the first muscle on our list here, the anconius muscle. You also see two images here where this muscle is highlighted and found on its contracted version and also relaxed version. Now, this muscle originates from the lateral 